You're supposed to be a professional athlete. You're supposed to carry me. It's just that's how you cannot carry me on four meatballs. This is not professional athletes. But you already ate four meatballs. <laughs> You're gonna see you just how eating protein. this. Yeah. I'm gonna have one minute. Well, no, all right. You would say hairy beast just chomps up meatballs only. <laughs> hairy beast. You should name me a song if you come hairy beast. By the way. <laughs> Marenko! Who is the most beautiful to me? Who is the most beautiful to me? <laughs> it's Hank. It's Hank? Oh my god. Let's go. practicing the habit like keeping your habits clean and your instincts clean so don't flip that much Oscar <laughs> Oscar I want you to play smart understanding when you can make it volatile talk and when not Ivan I want you to continue playing discipline positive games how you were I want you to fight with the teammates when they're nearby and only then basically so continue doing that and then another goal for you is like work closely with Hank. Talk together if you guys are doing a play together or you're apart and being as much as on the, you can as on the, on the same screen. Uh, Martin, uh, I want you to bring uh, the good energy and the comps that you usually do. Basically when you're commenting on everything you give a lot of direction to the team and it helps mainly regarding botlane. Hang the same for Ivan, right? I want you to work closely with Ivan, communicate together, and then on top of it, on top of it, I want you to think more about when and how to use Red Trinket to get as many words on one sweep as possible. So now I want everyone to focus on playing for the patterns, playing for the habits, so we get the feeling or we get back on the track where we're. We're practicing every game, we're improving every game. This is something that will then help you and it's only what will help you on stage because when you guys will have the fight or flight response, only the habits and instincts will sort of overtake, like the subconscious will overtake. So I want us to focus on these patterns that will then um, make us have a higher chances of winning on stage. I can play Kamel and uh, Orange coach. Okay. Should what, should, what should I ban code? What should we ban? Uh, Rakan, I think. Uh, Rakan, okay. Yeah, Rakan is mm, a That's a good ban. I want to jig for top here. Nice, nice. They will go all fingers code, that's more in trash, but it's fine. I, I don't mind. Don't I don't care. Good, cho good job, coach. I think you are drafted already. Thank you. Freeze playing to play for the penalty. Coming out of the So Freeze combat, roll swap. So, uh, <laughs> wait, I. I Coach Oscar, yes. do you think support should play in the trash? Uh, I think support should be playing um, some naughty loot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we fucked up two? I fucked up, we are starting at two. Sayonara. Oh, my last kill. Viva! Fucking sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 FF! It's fine! It's fine. It's fine. Nobody's mad at you. Don't worry. It's oh okay. Mistakes happen, Niva. So, coming into the Australia series, I feel like our preparation was basically what happened in the first game. So in the first game, we fell behind early. They ended up taking too many fights. Basically, at any time they could fight, they would fight. Some of them would be good for us, some of them would be good for them. But they had no filter in which fights they were choosing. They were just taking any fight. Game two was more surprising because we actually ended up having an early lead and then it was something we could carry on for the rest of the game. Game three, we fell behind early and we couldn't really find too much footing in the game. Some, some good fights, but not too much footing. I think that was more draft related than play related. We were in a winning spot most of the time. And we just threw like really badly a lot of the times. And yeah, then we lost. It was only best of three, so sucks. I was surprised actually with how good of a series we had. I mean, we've had good practice. 
pretty much the entire time. Maybe now is actually the time when we're not having so much good practice anymore. But just the fact that we could go on stage and have that kind of performance surprised me because we had a lot of tough games on stage previously. Just a different face to the team than, than we would normally show in scrims. And I felt like last week's game against Astralis was much more aligned with how we normally play in scrims. So that made me happy because that gives me confidence coming into today's game. And how has uh, practice been this week? It's been good. <laughs> good job! Well, in your fucking lifetime, bro. Uh, can, okay, can you get a uh, 3k gold? Perfect. We, 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 we had it yesterday, actually. But yeah, but this game. Good draft, 3k gold. And check, yeah. But then if I don't get 3k gold, then it means it's yeah. my good draft. Now I have to focus. Right, 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 that was mega broken. Ah. Fuck you, guys. I said so. I've been, I've been saying it, you have to pick Renata here. No, yes. you don't know shit. How yes. can yes. you do it? You guys know and, shit. And again, very important point. You are a team, so act as one. That's the that's the only thing I want to see this yeah. year. Fuck you, Renata. Fucking fucking no matter what, and you guys just suck it up. Don't you hang? Oh my god. god. Because 3k <laughs> gold league. Pick me, bro. 3k gold league. But how is this outdraft from you? What do you mean? If we had Renata... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why didn't you pick me Renata, man? What the fuck? Honestly, I think that draft is the worst draft I've ever seen, man. Some losers, some wins, you know. Uh, just the usual. We only played like, I think, four days? Or five? I don't actually know. And so, I mean, it wasn't that much time. A few days were a kind of disaster, but a few days were really good, I think. And uh, if one, I saw improvement in that regard. You guys were talking a bit more together and you were more aware of where the other one is and you were playing together, that's insane. Continue doing that. Martin, you did really good yesterday by being vocal and saying what you want to do, how you want to play. The way they try to win games is they will pick mid-jungle that can play together, that has a good synergy, and then they just try to play wrong mid and wrong a lot. Early, they tend to do some shit bot lane, like innovate and stuff. So care about that one a lot. I see MAD as a team that likes to play roaming mid. I see MAD that, uh, as a team that likes to play uh, a jungler that doesn't do as many camps and tries to gank a lot, so it's a different kind of scrappy. It's more, we need to be careful not to give Niski too many plays when he's running around, not to let Elioia get too many ganks off in the early game. I mean, I think they look a lot worse than last split, so I don't think they're like at their top level right now. We know what we want to play, I think, today. We have a good plan of what we want to do. We have basically like a lot of champions on every role that we know we are good at and we are just gonna pick them, you know, <laughs> and we are not gonna like try something really weird or crazy. And it's been working for us usually, so I think it's gonna be fine today as well. Look at him! Booster power. If we don't win now, then... Shout out Boast to Rose, then it's Boast yeah. and Belt. Like, how can we not win? Ooh! Oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let the... oh, oh no, what? Marek. What? <laughs> they just brought all the props. Yeah, this guy is Marek is leaving the ship to brighter horizons. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of like a this pirate, is, right? It looks like the first <laughs> fucking light year on this one. This is Captain Marek, actually. To the stars, <laughs> to the infinity. <laughs> is, is, your, is your turn, Martin? Actually, this is light versus dark. Carson has a mega crit. Look, this is the time. fucking Jedi, and uh, Martin and is pet. Sith Lord. Carson is like a pet here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, thank you. That oh. was, actually, you won the crit. On this mega <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel tingle somewhere? You know? I, think so yeah, I, I thought my picture was bad, but no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This one is the best? Fuck. Look at Healy's first. But Healy's picture is crazy, but yours is just too much. Actually, one day. I don't know how I'm gonna say this. One day. He's already losing it before he gets two words out. When they just go to a restaurant. No, bro, I can't say this on camera. <laughs> Dude, Martin, is this tight for you? Or is it like no. light? No? Light. Oh shit, I forgot this. You have to fix it all the time. For you, it's tight? It's mega. Because, because you have I'm so big so arms. I don't like your tie. I'm just saying. You don't like what? I don't like your tie. Why? It's matching with my eyes. It's. <laughs> uh. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not sure what to say to that. Like, yeah. Actually, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Why the col Why that color? You could have uh, been this color. I mean, I have only this time. I I'll be honest. Yeah, okay. I don't want to bullshit. No, yeah, please don't. I just have this. It's crazy. FF. You have one fucking job. I am actually more nervous for today's game than I think I will be tomorrow. Man has nothing to lose. They've had a shit season, but that normally means they have nothing to lose. They're playing with zero pressure because no one of them or any of their fans expect them to do any good. So that game has zero pressure and we have a lot of pressure. I know it can swing so fast. We go into game one, make a couple of mistakes, zero one down, backs against the wall. And they have no pressure again. They're probably laughing backstage between game one and game two. So. Yeah, we need to really like be present today, I think. You still have to look at the players Matt have. Even if they are not figuring it out as a team, they still have Hilly, who's a world championship player. How would you say, like one of the best players in the world or has been at some point. Carsi has won trophies. Elioia is seen as one of the best junglers. Niski has played here, been in multiple different teams and done really well on almost all of these teams and a Korean top laner. So it feels almost as if people are underselling Matt just because they're having a tough time because they actually have good players. They actually have finished second in winter. We're here on stage again. <laughs> We've been here last week. You guys know that, I mean, we should have won. It doesn't matter. Just focus on, you know, what to do next. Don't dwell on the mistakes. It's BO3. Expect it to go to three games. Today, if we have to draft that, we most likely will have. Just keep sending, keep breaking them. And if we are behind, just focus on how do we come back because we will, they will be doing mistakes, okay? Yeah. And, and, silly Hilly, okay? Silly Hilly. So in my mind, Hilly is Mad Lion's X Factor. He's X Factor in whichever team he plays for because that is who Hilly is and how he plays. If I would be coaching Hilly or coaching against Hilly, I guess either way, I would be really thinking a lot about getting him on his picks, getting him a counter matchup where he can play Pike comfortably or Rakan comfortably or whatever else he's cooking. Maybe he's cooking a Brom, he's really good at Brom, I think. Yeah, anything that he is comfortable in his matchup, he has some sort of escape mechanic because I think he does put himself in danger a lot of times. So if he can bait the enemy in, escape out, that's the X factor coming into play. So for me, that is a big point today, Hilly Sang. One, okay. Three, two, one, go. No, that, was that was terrible, weird. actually. Go is why is terrible. That was weird. But that was why weird. did you slip in the goal, You need to man. go three, two, one, and then go. That's exactly why I said I should not do it, guys. Like, I'm honest <laughs> with myself. <laughs> that, was, that was so impressive. Guys, speech was good. Not the other the speech was yeah. good, but yeah. I'm not three, two, one, go. You guys but that it. And you're like, no, 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 you come. Like, Bro, you never done a huddle in your life. It's like, Every huddle goes like 3 to 1 or 1 to 3 and you're just like, I've got to say it, let's do go. It's a very awkward situation for both teams right now, but Mad seem to be way more comfortable. Fnatic looking for the collapse. Mad just willing to wait it out, Season to Desist goes in, as of the one locked up. The Cataclysm locks them, but there's the engage. Magnet Storm on two, as Hillisang manages to find one. Second kill goes over to Chasey. Humanoid dashing in with a Spirit Rush, but Mad Lion's still very healthy. Can try and lock him down, slicing Maelstrom in, the double body bump. And there's the bomb that they were looking for! Hillisang yoinks Oscar in him back! And even though Oscar in is underneath his own tower, Niski will claim his life. Mad Lion's trying to... Play around at the Magnus Storm going in, Reckless trying to get away from the back line here. Chasey! Going in as well with the Cataclysm, the slicing master from Chasey. As you say, it's huge, but Reckless still alive and he's opening up on this Sibir. He's done this so many times in the past. Reckless is surviving. Chasey and not Benedictine! Benedictine! Minions there as well means that the charm goes wide. Here oh. with the Magnus Storm, the slicing master coming out, but the explosive cast is anti-synergy. Hostile takeover coming out as well, and Reckless spell shields at the eye of the charm. Reckless surviving on the back line, but so is Kazi. He has a lot more health and a few more years under his belt. A triple for Kazi. The Zemi popping off, making a quadra. Kazi and Hellasan come up clutch. And man, they're looking to take game one. So blue and then... Gragas yep. or Ari? The Herald situation we should be handling way, way, way better. For no reason, we pressured ourselves. We had an incredible timer and it was completely free. You guys have to look at the minimap and assess the situation better. That's it. There was like a misunderstanding where you took the wave, 
then we were scared if they can dive but the herald was free they, they don't they don't have wave so they on that wave cannot dive so it's really messy so you guys just have to take overview on the game and then call because there is like everyone is insecure and no one knows what to do one uh, other thing we have renata we have severe they're coming into us and we are scared and we want to give up someone just keep on the on the second herald in the tribush if they go into us in these chokes we get four men renata out we fucking ace them don't be afraid we're to fight some TP, just <laughs> bang them because we are scared and we're running away and we're letting them fight us I have a and we should like be fighting in, back. in the hero we are afraid to take the short puffing when we see all everyone you know i couldn't take short puffing i was gonna take the plant around but why you couldn't go to the river? Because why I was there. If she goes on you and, uh, and she fuck up the spell shield and, and she doesn't get the spell shield, she's I'm like here, here, you know, here. Like I was doing midwave, he showed on the brush next to me on mid. Because you guys started Herald while I was doing midwave. I think the issue is you start Herald too early, so then they disconnect me and I have to go around and take the plant. You took the Herald or not? I yeah. did, but they yeah. flanked us. I can take three one both for free. But they flank us. I mean, I will die to do for the Herald. Yeah, but you, you will die one. No, more people, they will chase. Oh, we were fine. We just made German combo out. But that fight, I mean, that fight is very favorable for us. Like, the, I, I see four men Renata ult into severe yeah. bombs, like... I think I'm sure for them, yeah. But I think in the end, it's gonna be about adapting on site. Because you never really know what they're gonna throw at you. You never really know what's gonna work for you. So I think on site we need to be really on, on point with adapting. If something doesn't work in game one, we're fast to fix it in game two, or if something works really well in game one, we make a secondary plan if they start planning that out, so we are not just playing Boris three games, which we did last week. I think that was something that I regret from last week. I didn't take more agency in saying, I think the game is going late, it's all about team fighting, and then Boris loses a lot of its power because Boris is about early game. I'm gonna try to do that better today, just be more honest, like, they're playing this way, this is how we're playing, this is how the game is going, what works in that game, kind of game, and then try to adapt it. But anyway, what are we doing for next game? <laughs> We're going blue, and we will ban Rakanani, and then we can ban Gragi. There are gonna be fights only around Herald and Drake, so mm -hmm. if you want to do the Maokai comp, you can do it. Because in my, eye, in my eyes, Bai did nothing this game. Like, we yeah. completely gave the, the game away for free. Oscar Rinnan is the target once again. It's like week one all over again. Constantly Oscar Rinnan the target. Dodges everything though. The lightning crash coming out. Kazi tanking the tower now. Adio is going to do it afterwards. Radiant Virtue giving him a little bit of healing as Oscar Rinnan looks for the trade. The palm of Foster. Oscar Rinnan going a little bit too deep as he thought he could take out the 1v1. Meanwhile, Reckless coming in looking for a little bit more for himself. Adioya. Flash available to him. Rooted off gets to the blast. Tone won't get away. Reckless with a double. At the end, chasing Kazi down. <laughs> the flash from Alyoya and then the collapse as we see in number five. Hello, hook back once again. TP's coming in from both sides and actually that TP's gonna be very deep from Oscar Rinnan. They died immediately onto Razzle. He's falling, the slicing mass coming out as well, but Oscar Rinnan doesn't quite have the damage. Humanoid trying to trade back in at the end, putting his body in the way, but his body is melted through and Mad Lions turning around in a heartbeat. Fnatic probably won't play for the win here. We'll just play double in here, base, or use the hex gate out. Razzle, though, wait a sec with the glacial prison. Goes in with a twisted advance, Redemption coming out as well. Chasey Low has that GA to bring him back though. TP coming in from Oscar in and is he hex gated out? The stopwatch, so much damage from Oscar as well. And Mad, again their aggression thrown back in their faces as Fnatic can look to end the game. Kazi gets hooked once more by Advien and without the carry, Mad alive. Fnatic are looking to end the game. Razzle going in, and Yoya going low, and Yoya flashes out, and Yoya dies. And Fnatic will you in and out one game between them with Astralis. Like, we cannot lose, bro. Like, be a bit more confident. We're back! Same toilet, and then we go to the room. Toilet and the room. Toilet and the room. You too. How's it going? Everything good? It's good, yeah. 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 Looking forward to seeing you smiling in the <laughs> Hope so. That was a game and a half. We're back. A game and a half. Asking for me. Care, they're fishing for you. How you play? Insane. I mean, He's I, spending so I, I much time in top. Was him, no, that's, I'm praising play. you. I'm praising you because he is spending so much time top, but you're outplaying them. Like he's, he's. <laughs> <laughs>
care about the silly hilly. Oh. We were surprised that he stopped side guys. Oh, what? Hello? We are red, right. they are blue. Yep, that's what I was expecting. <coughs> nice. So, the uh, the bands that before this game, they banned Olaf Chucks. <laughs> okay, they banned Olaf before, they banned Zaya, and they banned Lissandra. And I think against this team and how we are playing, we should just uh, focus on team fighting on tricks. Like, this, the only thing that's happening. Yep. Alright, then we go. <laughs> by a lot on every lane basically um, you guys still stayed in the game you fought well and then you get back into the game and then we had options to close it out and, and win uh, and we fucked up uh, happens I obviously wanted to go farther than this and I think we should have and we should be able to so we will have to then look back onto the season and, and see what happened or what we did bad that we couldn't handle uh, going back uh, further but you, you you can at least see for yourself that in bio freeze we there will be a lot of mistakes and okay oh you can always come back yeah we probably only play the nexus thing better mm -hmm. for tp when the creep is tanking if we all make up, like one or two auto attack 
maybe like one or two auto attack was missing, actually. Yeah, we're also taking damage from the towers, right? Because we ran out of creeps. But if we TP on the, the creep, we won't have run out of creeps, so we have more HP. I wanted to TP on the cannon, and we'll have three minions instead of two. And we just ignore the rail and hit you, I think we end. Yeah. Like, we, yeah, are, no, we have so much damage on, on Ari, like, so much AP, we want some towers. I mean, in the first place, we should not be in position where we're kind of getting... or we are behind in every lane. But it felt very, very hard to team fight against them, like... I just can't play, like, I was me get, getting mega suicide. I mean, losing always sucks, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter which way, you know, if you lose, you get stomped, it sucks, if you lose when you can win, it sucks, it just always sucks, you play to win, if you can't win, then what are you here for, you know, so that blows. After a, a series, after a split, you have a lot of regrets or things you could have changed. I thought we had good momentum, I thought we had a good chance, and maybe that's why it like stings more. Uh, I thought we would beat these guys, I thought we could beat Astralis as well. I'm just really happy that I can learn more about League of Legends and also find the confidence in my picks, you know, the, today the Blitzcrank game. I was always, for some reason, afraid to play Playmakers, because I thought I might, you know, not do it well enough, but today at least showed me that I can do it and I can have an impact on the game if I am confident. And, so that's a big takeaway for me and uh, yeah, just like growing as a player on stage, as a player within a team environment. It was a pleasure for me to like, play this place with you, like comparing how we were in Winter Split and like how shit it was our, our split in winter, you guys coming on, even though we had our messy games. I had so much fun like in the office with you and daily and even screams like I was enjoying the day to day with you guys and yeah I just wanted to say thank you today was a shit day or like things were rough but I'm proud of you I think you guys did fucking good for your first split in, in LEC but I wanted to let you know that I appreciate the time I spent with you in, in, this, in this split. Yeah, and I want to say that it was the same, you know, I, I could, you know, come in with good energy because it was fun to work with you, it was fun. Yeah, but it, work like you were and coming and it was a hard position from you because you were sc screaming with the academy, you know, and it was like a fast thing or you had to adapt really fast. And like, even though Oscar, you might have uh, like a last, a bad last game or like you feel like, like that. I think you did fucking good. You're in, fucking insane, Oscar. I think you did really good in LEC. And you showed everyone your talent. You are 19. And like, people will, like people know that you are good. And you will have your time to show them, okay? It warms my heart to see Oscar grow like this and coming in the first week and then seeing him go the second week, third week and now I feel like he's on his path to becoming one of the best top laners in LEC if he keeps going like this and I'm just really happy to see that and be near that and be along for the ride. So yeah, it just warms my heart to see Oscar grow in that sense. What are you going to do before summer split? What's the, what's the plan? I mean, I think uh, it's, it's what I always do. Is I'm probably going to take a little break from the game, try to refresh, see friends hang out, maybe go on a little holiday, I don't know. Before any split starts, I will start grinding again and make sure that I'm in the best form ever. And I'm actually so extremely motivated as well to just go back again and come in with the confidence I got through this split and do really well the next one. I really love the game, I really love competing and I feel like I'm getting better every day, really. Yeah, I'm just really stunned by the fact that there were so many positive messages like every day i would play people in my solo queue would message me like hey uh you're smurfing keep it up well done you guys uh, go you know on my twitter i get dms a lot of like people saying i love the way you play i love the energy you add all that kind of stuff and uh, i've never had that before in my career and it's just i think it's amazing it just lifts my spirit you know and so I just want to thank everyone that's been supporting us, even through the split that you guys may not have deserved. And um, I hope you'll continue to do so in the future.